It was shocker on the UNLV campus tonight. Word that the president of the university is on his way out. It's a story we've been following all evening long. News 3's John Trainer joins us live from the campus with the latest. Yeah, Marie, this was first reported by the Nevada Independent, later confirmed by our sources. A university in the middle of major changes may be without its leader. Three years ago, he was hired by a university hitting its stride. It was 2015 when Len Jessup started, the university president helping UNLV build a medical school. Now, in March of 2018, we are learning Len Jessup may be on his way out. The Nevada Independent first reporting that Jessup will have two options, resign or be fired. We've confirmed the shocking news through former and current regents who do not want to officially go on record. The decision stems from Jessup's handling of the medical school and dental schools. The Independent reporting that Nevada Chancellor Thomas Riley had issues with Jessup over fundraising for the medical school and current practices at the dental school. Jessup's career here has mirrored the medical school. It started in 2015 as the university was seeking accreditation. The fact that they got accreditation for a medical school was considered a big win, but the costs of construction have ballooned to an estimated $236 million. The university has struggled to raise funds to match, and construction is looming. Just last week, news broke that the university's dental school had been reusing single-use dental implants since 2014. Patients were notified that those implants might fail. We reached out to UNLV representatives who had no comment. Chancellor Riley tells us it's a personnel matter and wouldn't comment beyond that. Now, if it does get determination, it would take an act of the Board of Regents. They would have to call a special meeting to do that. We can report tonight that special meeting has not yet been called. But I can confirm that Len Jessup had a review in January. And just last week, a number of regents requested copies of that review to look over. John Trainer, 